please welcome one of music's best love stars, Hall of Fame member Chet Atkins. Thank you very much. I was just a kid when I first heard Merle Travis on the radio, and uh, right away he became my hero. Years later, we became friends. I told somebody when he died, I told a reporter, I said he was the most uh, talented man I ever saw. He could, uh, he could fix your watch, he could write you a hit song, he could play you a great guitar solo, so many things, he was so clever. And one of the high points of my career was when I got to do an album with him. A dream came true. Uh, we're going to do some tunes tonight, and I need somebody to help me in. Who would be better than Merle Travis' son, Tom Bresh? Let's welcome him. Thank you. Thank you, Chester. You know, uh, Travis always said, uh, said that you were just like a brother to him, so I guess that makes you Uncle Chet, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, uh, you guys won a Grammy for the Atkins Travis Traveling Show. Let's pick uh, Who's Sorry Now from that. And I started that. You started. <laughs> You know, in 1938, you would have heard my father as a young guitarist in the Drifting Pioneers. His guitar picking style was influenced by Kennedy Jones, Mose Rager, and Ike Everly. He continued to refine this style and make it his own. His treatments of songs like I Am a Pilgrim and Nine Pound Hammer reshaped the face and feel of American music. We'd like to show you that's my line. Well, okay, I'll do it like you. We'd, We'd like, like to, to show, show you how. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna show us how? You know what we ought to do so we don't get this messed up? I know, yeah. Steve Warner's yes. out here in the audience. Let's get him up to help us, because he's awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Warner. <laughs> We're gonna pick this song. Well, 
dancer just to get a little groove. Uh -huh. So to get a little groove. Yeah. Well, when I'm long gone, you can make my tombstone out of number nine coal. Out of number nine coal. You know, I can only think of one way to close this little piece we're doing here, and that's to have Tom introduce it like Merle Travis. He's an imitator, you know, and he'll sound just like him. All right. <clears throat> no, that's you. Uh, <laughs> now, what he would say is, uh, we'd like to do a song now for you that we always close the show with, and it's a little old song called, I'll See You in My Dream. Yeah. <laughs> Music Foundation Hall of Fame celebration continues with Reba McIntyre, Marty Stewart, Emmy Lou Harris, Joe Diffie, and Trisha Yearwood's tribute to the king of the Tennessee Waltz, Pee Wee King. <laughs> 